marksman Trevor Morley misses the home encounter with Plymouth, the Hammer striker is in hospital, recovering from stab wounds that'll keep him out of action for six weeks. They're actually playing like a side who've dropped seven points in 12. They need a good start. Now here's Keane towards Timmy Breaker. Oh, it's gone in, and it's gone in off Nicky Marker, and that's just the sort of start they needed. Steve Potts, not a good header away. Kevin Hodges turns. Dennis Salmon. Fiore. Hodges there once more. It's pushed away by the keeper. And I thought Hodges had gone in a little bit high by Ludic McCloskey then. Now they'll look for Marker at the near post here. The big man. He scored the own goal. Marker gets the touch. And Robbie Turner equalises for Plymouth Argyle. The former Wimbledon striker, the big man at the front, ties it up. Jimmy Quinn ploughed by Marker. And West Ham ploughed a furrow through the middle. Well, George Paris is after it. Stuart Slater. Slater sidestepped his man. Fine save by Reese Wilmot. Jimmy Quinn. Quinn from a long way out. And no more than a couple of inches over the bar. Turner in there once more. Turner's header. Oh, and Potts and McCloskey left it for each other. And Plymouth are 2 1 up. Bishop now. Keane. Quinn leaves it. Slater. Breakers in there. He doesn't. And he gets his first goal for West Ham United. Tim Breaker. And that's two apiece. Breaker to Slater. Tim Breaker once more. Well, he's not surely after more. He is. And he nearly got it as well for West Ham United. Timmy Breaker coming forward from fullback. Nearly made it 3 2 at the death. A last minute penalty save from Reese Wilmot denies George Paris. But the Hammers are happy to keep their 13 month unbeaten home record intact. Satellite TV coverage means a Monday night showdown.